Gord is absolutely incredible. Gritty, dark, nightmarish. It kind of reminds me of things like Diablo, but also a little bit of like Dawn of Man and a few other city builders we've seen before on the channel. Well, hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to our first look at the full release of Gord that features a campaign, also custom scenarios, and more features coming down the line. We're going to start our first look at the campaign and do a full playthrough starting today, so welcome aboard. Don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button, and of course, as always, glory to Raptoria down below in that comment section. This game reminds me a little bit of Ancestor's Legacy 2, blending elements of kind of a hero, survivor, city builder simulator in a Slavic lore fantasy world, basically, with all the things of Baba Yaga and much more in a world that's just more and more interesting the more I've learned about it. Well, without further ado, we're going to take our first look at Gord. And by the way, you may have seen this first mission before on the uh, demo for Gord as well. That was during Steam's next event. So everything you are going to see might be the same, but maybe slightly different from what we saw in our first look during the demo. So stay tuned for additional missions and much more in Gord. Let's go. Over the years, Calanthia grew under my rule. My campaign to unite the South is almost over. As we speak, my son is directing our army against the remaining forces of the Southern Resistance. Once we're done there, we shall take the North. It's filled with all sorts of vile creatures, but also rich in the gold that I need. Only a few barbaric tribes are desperate enough to inhabit these lands. As my steward, you will have one of them at your disposal. The Tribe of the Dawn. Secure the Golden Root before our army arrives. My emissary, Edwin, will watch your progress. Fail me, and you will face a fate much worse than any of the savages you've ever fought before. The Tribe of the Dawn was always a humble community of Dabo worshippers. Their elder, Bogdan, is neither a warrior nor a strategist. When the Calanthians came with their threats and promises, they had no choice but to obey. They agreed to guide them through the Lysatian forests, hoping for peace and survival. Here we are, steward. No wonder our king chose you for this mission. You're more than worthy of this disgusting land. Are you sure we're in the right place? Where is that meek old coward who calls himself a leader? Welcome, you? my lord. I am Bogdan, elder of the tribe of the Dawn. I will guide you through the Lasatian woods. But, if I may, where are your warriors? The king's forces will come when the time is right. Until then, we are your new masters. As pledged, my lord. My tribe will follow the orders of the king's steward. They are your people now. I trust you will take good care of them. We will, if they do their work. Do they find a place to set up a camp? Yes, sir. Our scouts have found a good spot for our first gourd. A nearby pond should provide enough reeds and food to start a small settlement. Ah, here we are finally in Gord. Looks like there's going to be a lot of helpful pop-ups for us for our first mission. You know, things like how to move the camera and rotate, etc., etc. Alright, there's our group. My lord. Please order our subjects to move 
We should follow our scouts' footsteps. We are not safe here. Our subjects, right. All right, there they are on the right side. I think every time we play, they're slightly different with their names and maybe stats, depending on what the mission is. But they look certainly like a good group. Wow, look at the map and all of the landscape. It does remind me a little bit of Farthest Frontier with how gritty and uh, detailed everything looks. A lot of uh, trees and bushes blowing in the wind. Everything looking damp and moist. And rather uh, just a, a dank swamp of nightmares and more. A little bit of, uh, I don't know, a little bit of Frostpunk feel, even though it plays nothing like that. It just gives me those vibes of, like, more survival than Ratchet anything else. Wolves. Those are the bodies of our scouts. There isn't much for us to bury, but it seems like one got away. With Dabo's help, he'll find his way back to us. Sure thing. All right, looks like we're getting new features on the screen, so things like our uh, mini-map and then details about all of our different survivors, or let's see if we can find anything inside that. Uh, oh, 50 gold, nice. All right, well, that was good we stopped and checked. Sorry to those guys. F's down below in the comments section. Glory to Raptoria 2. All right, let's go find a way to, uh, or a place, to make our gourd, our fortress, basically, our palisade, our walled city. Although it'll start out small, eventually it'll grow, and we'll go up to five different tiers of upgrades, from, like, a small little settlement all the way up to a fort. Uh-oh, wolves. Fight them off. Someone has harmed our brother. <laughs> Oh, cool. Our archer in the back is working, too. I'll take a little damage. Man, everybody is bloody. Good job, team. All right. Wow, you can see some small walls around here, too. People have tried to settle this land before with no success. All right. This apparently seems to be the pond. Somewhere. Sir, uh, we've reached the pond our scouts told us about. Yep. It is indeed a fine location for a gourd. We have access to water, reeds, and other resources here. But first, let's build a palisade. These wooden walls will be the main defense of our new settlement. Absolutely. All right, so, uh, yeah, everything up top is all of our resources to be able to build and feed our people. So wood and reed will be primary for our building materials, and then, of course, food. And gold is upkeep, food to keep everyone alive, gold to pay our military, and clay and iron to upgrade structures. And then, of course, we can build everything with the menus at the bottom. And then also manage our groups, and then something called incantation, which is kind of like uh, spells, essentially. All right, here we are, team. Let's go ahead and build our palisade. Now, this is really cool. We get a chance to actually move our palisade around a little bit. We kind of have to stay within the initial area, but we can move it around just a little bit. And we can even modify the shape of the gourd if we want to. We can make it a little bigger, which is certainly a good thing. So let's go ahead and do that. A little more breathing room is always good to fit all of our structures. The gate needs to remain up here so we can go out and try to find that uh, cartographer. Uh, that is our real main mission of this, uh, of this mission, our main objective. Oh, we can even rotate with Q and E so we can move our gourd 360 degrees after we finish its shape. But we'll go ahead and just sit it up at top. That's really cool. It's going to have a lot of lighting and stuff on it, so we'll be able to uh, kind of keep the darkness away. It kind of does remind me a little bit of, like, their billions with the darkness, and also maybe a little bit of uh, the forest. Oh, yeah. Now we can name our settlement. Of course, you know we have to name it. Raptoria. Let's go. Perfect. All right, they're going to build the palisade now. <laughs> it's going to take a little while, but there we go. Beautiful. Oh, wow. That was quick. Good. The palisade will keep us safe. Now, we need to think of how to make use of the resources we have. Hold on, old fool. This is just a minor stop on our way to the cartographer. He's waiting for us with instructions on how to reach the gold. I don't want to grow roots in this dump. My, my lord, I promise we will move on as soon as we have fortified our current position. For now, I suggest building a lumber mill, a forager's hut, and a thatchery. Those are some good ideas. <sighs> a lumber mill does sound useful. Fine then, but be quick about it, steward. Shall do. 
Okay. New structures available. So let's go ahead and build ourselves a sawmill. Oh, I like the look of it. Yep. All right, let's go ahead and put it close to the gate since they won't have to walk too far. When they go out and chop down trees, they'll automatically chop down trees within the gourd and outside too. So, and let's see if everybody think we're at maximum. All right, let's get everybody we can on logging. So we have basic buildings, advanced, military, special, and carvings. And then those buildings can be upgraded too. So we can go into a much more uh, advanced build mode eventually. So yeah, right now we're at level one camp. And there's more things that will come available later in the game for us, too, including incantations. If we take a look here, we can see that the lumber mill can upgrade three times and that we can go from a camp to a settlement to a village, a colony, and finally a fort. And then all buildings pretty much either unlock later in the tech tree or are upgradable later uh, after they're able to be built later in the tech tree. All right, first and foremost goal is to gather and deposit some wood. This is cool. They actually use these hooks to drag them around. Most games, you'd see people like uh, carry it over their shoulder or carry it with both hands in front of them. In this case, they actually like latch a hook into it and bring it right over to the lumber mill. Pretty damn cool. And they throw it into what would be like the carpentry bench. And then they start planing it too. They actually like, you know, debark and yeah, they start modifying the wood. Although the game just keeps track of it as, you know, wood. That would then eventually lead to things like planks and maybe firewood and stuff that could be made there. All right, the thatchery is next. That's where we're going to store all of our reed. And since that pond is just outside the gate, let's build it right there too. We'll build our thatchery right next door. And let's find anybody who's idle. Uh, I believe these two you can go ahead and work on some construction there. Perfect. Now we're gathering wood and pretty soon reed. After this, we'll have to start working on food. Oh, I love the look of the buildings. They look really great. All right, let's get you two on gathering reeds. So more wood will definitely be needed. That's how we're going to build every structure and all of our defenses. We can build guard towers too. And uh, we can easily have people switch from one job to another. So if we get plenty of wood, we can just ask a third person uh, to switch over to the thatchery. So that can have three and uh, the logging camp will have two. Always a lot of micromanagement. But these people are versatile. They can become a warrior one minute, a logger the next, and then maybe work as a gatherer. Or they can become a, a scout. That kind of thing. Beautiful. Wow, look at the lighting around the gourd too. Now, as I mentioned before, it does remind me a little bit of They Are Billions, or maybe more like, uh, maybe uh, Age of Darkness Final Stand, where people need to stay in the light in order to remain uh, sane. Eventually, sanity will be a factor in this game, and the longer people are out in the darkness and what, they'll start to see things and go a little weird, so. And there's uh, special areas here too, like the fishing pond. Fishermen can catch fish at these ponds, processing them into food at a fishing shack. And there actually is a limit to the amount of food in the fishing ponds. I suppose you people are used to starvation, but I am not. Yeah, we can tell. Steward, order these peasants to bring me some food. Bro, just order U Uber Eats. That's all Sire, you gotta do. If I may, our people had some rations saved, but we will run out soon. We really need to start gathering food. All right, let's do it. Well, there's deer up here as well. There's the fish I've mentioned, and then there's also foraging. There's plenty of mushrooms out there. You may have seen those a little earlier back by the wagon, but now we can start grabbing those. We're gonna make our um, settlement a little congested near the gate because of course, the closer the buildings are to the gate, the faster people can get in and out. And this first mission does remind me of some of the earlier stronghold missions where it's not so much about the combat, it's a little bit more about how to do each individual thing within the uh, settlement. All right, let's get one of our people to do construction. So now we've got uh, somebody taking a little side job. I like how asking somebody from one job to build something doesn't unassign them from that. They kind of just take a day off from doing their main job to then go build a structure. Oh, man, I love the foundations here. You can see the framework going up. 
All the lumber and stuff standing by. Reed and more. Wow, that is a uh, that is a wet day. But the forger's the settlement's out. growth has significantly increased. All right, time to make some mushroom soup, huh? Now let's go ahead and get everybody assigned to that. Everybody's going to need food to eat. And we'll take one of our people who's gathering reeds and put them on the foraging in just a moment. Oh, it's so cool. They actually put it up into the upper storage of the thatchery for drying. Very neat. Okay, three people on food gathering and one on construction materials each. There's seasons in this game, it looks like. Current date and season. Seasons have weather changes that affect your subject's behaviors. Oh. The 27th of April, so it's certainly a lot of wet and rainy days. Well, quote-unquote days. Like, look at how <laughs> dark these days are. Constant cloud cover and dreariness. But eventually, weather will be a factor as it gets colder, too. Maybe we'll have to survive brutal winters. Much more hardcore setting for a game like Gord, for sure. Sire. Thank you for providing us with food. Even though starvation won't make us bleed, it will weigh heavily upon our subjects' mental state. If we neglect their sanity, they will flee our rule. That's right. Huh. Insubordinance like that should be punishable by death. Feeble minds. Hmm. In Calanthia, we would give our soldiers some wine to calm their nerves before the battle. My lord, we don't have wine here, but we do pride ourselves on making a great drinking mead. Hell yeah, brother. Some brewskis? Mead, you say? Mm, that doesn't sound too bad. However, the basic comfort of staying within the range of a torchlight helps a lot in our sanity regeneration. Our scouts can provide light to everyone venturing outside of the palisade, but I would recommend to build both a meadery and scout's tower. Yes, yes. But let's start with the meadery, shall we? I second that. Let's go, brother. All right, cool. Oh, wow, we're uh, anxious level now. <laughs> okay, time to start dealing with our uh, anxiousness by putting down meadery. Allows the people to recover some sanity by drinking a pint of mead. All right, let's go ahead and put that uh, over here in the corner, I suppose. Yeah, that's a good spot. Right there. Perfect. Well, let's take one person, Dragomir. You can go ahead and uh, start construction there. So pretty cool. There's, like they mentioned, there's tons of different uh, little mm. stats for everybody. You can see all their different uh, experiences. And the longer you keep them on a job, it looks like they might be able to become more skilled at certain things. Or at least if you read, he's uh, a little better at exploring. So maybe they'll gather skills over time for working certain jobs. But more importantly, uh, Dragomir is a much better experienced scout by default. So when it comes time to make a scout, we should definitely grab him and check for others. And additionally, we can give our people items too. So each of them almost are like, they're like builders and they're also military units, but almost like a hero too. They can be customized a little bit to become stronger and carry special items. All right, speaking of special, we can build a burial ground too. Well, hopefully we don't need that. Let's go ahead and build a, uh, let's see, where's our watchtower now? Of our forger's hut, storeroom. Oh, we need to assign somebody to have a little brewski. Well, Dragomir, you did build it. So why not sit down and take take a seat? There you go. Have a, have a, have a pint. There you go. All right, let's have somebody uh, to build our guard tower now. Scout tower. I guess we'll plop that down in the middle of the camp. Makes sense. We'll be able to see in all directions. Have them build. And then Dragomir, too, because Dragomir will be our scout once he's finished building it. Take a look at everybody else. Go under the third one. Wow, look at the last one. You can see all the different information on offense, defense, faith, sanity. This is all their buffs and debuffs. Things like their carrying speed. Wow. This game takes into a hell of a lot of factors. That's really impressive. Like, it's not just a villager from like Age of Empires or Rise of Nations. <laughs> They can do it all, baby. These people are survivors, and they're very skilled. Oh, wow. We have trading experience, too. Exploring. Okay, let's see. Exploring experience, 10%. Dragomir's at 20. Food production there. The 
Winfred should definitely be inside that uh, food production building. We're going to need to build more stuff, though, so let's make sure we uh, continue to assign people for construction. I think we're okay on food for now. Okay, let's go ahead and make sure that we get uh, Dragomir as a scout. that hygiene isn't your best suit but don't your people ever wash Stuart and I could use a bath <laughs> uh, yes of, of course my lord our balia is constructed in a way not only to provide hot water but also make the best use of our healing herbs to regenerate people's health ah. huh. heard that Stuart order them to build it right away Yes, sir. All right, so our Balia is basically a bath. So, um, yeah, the Meadery takes care of their mental health, and the Balia takes care of their physical health. So if they take damage in combat or whatnot, they can um, go there to heal. All right, we're short via one wood. Let's go ahead and make sure we uh, get that going. All right. Dragomir is going to become a lumberjack for now. And we'll have, what is that? Dropped mushrooms. Ah, I see. Somebody unassigned dropped those there. One of the forgers can come pick that up in just a moment. All right, once Thane is done, we'll go ahead and assign him to construction. And we'll put our Balia right over here, I suppose. There we go. All right, Thane, you come on over. And Dragomir, you too. So Thane and Dragomir now building our Balia. Essentially, the uh, <laughs> it's the bath from Witcher 3. And this gives me Witcher 3 vibes too. The, in our last recording of this uh, demo, which uh, did feature this mission as well, many people said they were just getting heavy Witcher vibes from just a lot of the, the vibes of the game, how certain things look and whatnot. Wow, they actually have a little beehive up there to get all the honey for the mead. Very cool. All right, take a little rest. You guys built it. Why don't you go ahead and test it out? One of our people came across some familiar tracks. We should search this area of the forest. Maybe with Dabo's help, we'll find the scout who fled from the wolves. All right, Roger that. All right, hot tub breaks over. Okay, let's go ahead and get uh, Dragomir on scouting again. And I think we're going to unassign everybody, and we're going out on a military mission now, a scouting mission. Let's see if we can get everybody uh, to go out. So Dragomir is our scout now. Let's get everybody back inside. You can actually see them being affected by the conditions that they're working in now. So a little bit of a it to their sanity. The yellow bar is below their health bar. So we do want to send everybody out now on a mission. Winfred is a little low too. Looks like when it becomes a concern, the game will by default show you that it's a little low. So half is okay, but less than that is bad. Gonna take a while to get everybody healed up. Ah, oh, this is also affecting our sanity level overall. And it looks like we might be able to max that out. Wow, look at all the stats for that. Burials, metery, and carvings. Health will also affect that too. So if everybody's low health, they're going to have low confidence in your leadership. And that's going to affect things too. Alright, that's good enough for now. Get this up a little bit. We shouldn't have to go too far to scout, but we do know our sister awaits your command, sir. There are wolves out here, yeah. Well they'll get a command in just a second. Have a little bit of brewski, bruh. Alright, let's go out. Heals up pretty damn slow, but it seems realistically accurate how long it'll take somebody to kinda go through R&R, &R, get them pretty close to half, and then we're heading out 
Our brothers are enjoying their quality of life. Well, that's good. You see little rats and things scurrying around? It's really neat. All the little details to the bog is really cool. All right, so we're looking for somebody. A scout from a prison, apparently. Who might know where this cartographer is. But I'm sure we won't encounter anything dangerous out here. Oh no, something dangerous. Oh no. A legendary wolf? Wow, it actually knocks our people down. Beat them back, people. Good job. Excellent work. Hell yeah. All right, Dragomir, go ahead and grab that item there. A wolf's paw we gathered. Only usable on a subject with experience at level 3. Wow, plus 20% attack damage to a wolf and less damage from a wolf. Hey, there's our prisoner. We're here to rescue you, bro. We did it. Bring on about. I can't understand a word. He claims he was attacked by the wild folk. People of the forest. But they have never attacked us before. Unless they were provoked. Clearly they had a change of heart. He says they're walking towards the Votenga River. West of here. I fear that they may raid our gourd. Uh, our cartographer was supposed to be west of here as well. We cannot lose him. Let's move. No. Hey, we've done it. All right, we built our first gourd, but it looks like there's an impending invasion, an incoming wild folk raid. Do we want to continue playing this campaign? Hell yeah, we do. Let's go on to the next mission. Let's go. The wild folk used to live like wild animals. And although they can be violent, conquest was one of the many human things they despise. Nonetheless, they became more aggressive recently and attacked the tribe at the Dawn's Gourd. I wonder if they are doing this to praise Velus. All right, now on to something a little more complex. So as we went over a lot of our people's details before, b between each mission or before each mission, we can customize them a little bit more so we can, uh, I guess, take a look at who they are, what their skills are. We can rename them if we want to and uh, change them around. I feel like we should be able to do that at any time, like even in the mission. If we can <laughs> rename them now, we should be able to just do it whenever, just for funsies. But we got new recruits, too, who want to join us, so we can pick uh, one. Looks like they've already uh, chosen one for us. We can only choose one. Uh, food would probably be a good thing, but maybe logging. But we can take a look at more of their details so we can pick the right recruit for the job. Although, we're not exactly sure what each mission will be, so it's a little bit of a guessing game. We know there's an invasion coming next, so military might be good, but also to build quickly before the enemy attacks would be important too. We can also see our group experience average, so... We're pretty darn good at cutting, gathering food, scouting, and combat, but not so good at mining and trading yet. So, But it gives you a little brief right at the bottom, so that's pretty damn cool. Breaks it down real quick. So if you're really into games like you know RPGs, where you really want to know everything about a character before you recruit them or use them, well, there you go. My lords, the wild folk, they've attacked our gourd. Hurry now, or there will be nothing left of our home. Breach. the gates. The enemy has breached our defenses. All right. So we're able to go into like a, uh, I guess, a tactical pause mode in order to defend against the breach. But in this case, we still got to get there. Oh, wow. Oh, they're destroying everything. Those jerks. Through the breach. 
people are like zombies. Get them, boys. Our brother is in danger. Dear God, so much destruction. Those savages dared to destroy our king's property? Sire, this is unusual. The wild folk are not our allies, but they were never desperate enough to raid a fortified gorge. Something's changed. That doesn't matter, you old fool. They will pay for their insolence. Of course, sire. But now we need to focus on salvaging whatever's left of our structures. We can repair the damage and clean up the rubble and reuse whatever we can. All right. Let's do it. First and foremost, we got to repair that palisade. Make sure no one breaks through again. Mm -hmm. I guess let's get everybody on mm -mm. each structure. Mm -mm. Or not. I guess we need to rebuild the wall first, but only one person could be assigned to the breach. There we go. Now we can repair. Alright, so it looks like they hit our battery. This is a forger, I believe. And we can get people assigned to the logging camp right away. Okay, let's see. Strength, fast and force, weakness, fears, combat. Alright, everybody just grab a job quickly. We're gonna repair the scout's tower too. I'll have Dragomir do that, our scout. We're gathering uh, everything we need so far. And now we're up to six whole survivors. Gathering mushrooms. I think we'll need a bit more reeds. Let's get an assist on that scouting tower. So it looks like these rocks inside the camp, they certainly look cool, but they don't really seem to serve a purpose. I, at the moment, don't think there's any reason uh, to keep Our them. We can build right over up, them. But we should equip our subjects with proper weapons to better prepare for what awaits us outside of our walls. Let us build our first military structure. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Build an axe pit. Mm -hmm. I will have you two do construction. We're going to build under military our axe pit. And let's build it near the gate because, of course, troops will need to be ready for an attack. Both incoming and outgoing attacks. Looks like we're a little low on reeds. Alright, let's have Dragomir be a temporary Axeman scout. He's just an Axeman in this case, but, you know, still a scout at heart. That's good enough. Let's search for the cartographer. He was supposed to lay out the best route for the gold transportation, especially across that damn river. My people have seen this Calanthian a couple of times. Supposedly, he has surrounded himself with traps. Be cautious when you approach his hut. Uh-oh. Find the cartographer's hut. All right, we better bring uh, a few more axemen. Food is looking good, so anybody who's a forger, I think, can come with. Well, let's reassign for now. Hmm. 
Oh, there's like blood on the side of the building. What happened? All right, our people are ready to go. Oh, wait a minute. Hmm. Let's get somebody as a scout. We'll try Thane as a scout now. Wow. This guy's a martial artist. Plus two sanity per second when in combat. Oh, he likes to be in combat. Perfect. He'll be a perfect scout. Right in the front line, he'll be the first one to enter the, uh, enter the fray. And we're going to bring a scout because he can have a torch and keep everybody sane, I think. And we'll keep two people to gather reeds. Mm -hmm. Now we have an archery range, too. Build one of those. Maybe we should bring the full group out. Let's do it. Let's have the whole village fight. Let's get back inside the walls. Change of plans. We're going to have some range support. And I think the axes might also be able to be thrown, too. They might be able to throw axes and then deal with them in melee combat. Wow, that building. All the details. All right, you two, give us some range support. Oh, wow. Look at the training target. It's a gigantic spider. How awesome. Wow. Yeah, not just a regular old target, but literally made of, like, straw or reed or thatch. Great. All right, we're leaving camp. Let's go find what else is out there for us. Oh, there's something over there. Fog of war. Any trouble? Yep, more wolves. Our sister was wounded by a foe. Good job. Is that a chest? Oh, it is. A wolf tooth necklace. All right. People in line. Why did he flee? The poor soul already suffered so much. Seeing a body mutilated in such a vicious manner, you would think that living here made us indifferent to such views. But it always takes a toll. Your barbarian minds are weak. And this corpse belongs to yet another of your scouts? N no. Sire. Judging from the robe, I believe this is the cartographer you were searching for. Cursed lands! Ah! Forget him! We need his maps! Search the hut! Search this cage! Search everything! Sire! We have found the cartographer's notes in his hut. Does it say where to cross the river? I believe it does, my lord. But the marked route requires crossing the nearby swamps. It's a very difficult and dangerous area. You dare to question the expertise of a royal cartographer? If he marked it, that's where we're going. Follow the plan, steward. We've wasted enough time. All right, very good. New structures available for construction. Oh, yes, yeah, so we'll have to worry about our... Oh, additional gates. Cool. Spider carvings. Wonderful. How oh, lovely. Yeah, our meadery and Bali are, are up as well, but let's proceed to the marked location. We're doing quite well. Everybody's in full health, full sanity, so let's just push the fight.
More wolves. Our sister has been injured. Took some good damage on that one. Sister. All right, we dealt with them easily. Got to keep those archers in the back. What is this? Fighting experience gain. Whoa. Okay. Now we're going to gain some skill. Oh, there's a chest there. Forgot about you, ma'am. <laughs> Oops. Oh, the incantation menu. Well, never mind. We don't need an extra person when we have magic. Let's go ahead and uh, break them. This one is mine. We'll get you for this. That's nice. You saved me. Those savages got what they deserved. They attacked our gourd and killed our people. But you, you are not from around here. I am not. I've been a traveler since my village got destroyed. People. I am Edwin, an emissary of King Isidore II of Calanthia. It seems we share common enemies. What was that thing you just did to these savages? Forest tricks. You pick them up if you live here long enough. But how come savages are a concern to such fine lords as you? And who are you, old man? I am Bogdan, elder of the tribe of the Dawn, humble servants of Dabo. Dabo? The defeated god of the sun. Watch your tongue, witch. I've lived long enough to recognize forbidden magic when I see it. Helping you is a mistake. Hold on, old man. Undeniably, our new friend has some skills and a grudge against our enemy. I would suggest we join forces and welcome her into our settlement. I wouldn't mind a hot bath. But, sir... You yourself keep reminding us how dangerous these lands are. Well, we could use every pair of hands, especially hands as skilled as these, to deal with those threats until the Calanthian troops arrive, couldn't we? Uh, yes, sire. Very well then. Let us carry on through those swamps and across the river. There is supposed to be a very nice settlement there. Are you sure you need to go that way? Of course we're sure, woman. We're following the map drawn by the royal cartographer. What is the matter? Well, I think I already got rid of most of the filth on the way here. But beasts, monsters, and wild folk living in those swamps drained my powers almost completely. Beasts and monsters and... Ooh. 
Building a temple and assigning somebody to pray in it would help me recover much faster. And believe me, you will find my powers useful in those swamps ahead. <clears throat> yes. I believe that we all agree that safety of us, our subjects, is of utmost importance. Let's build this temple of yours first. No one is to enter the swamps before that. Uh, may the gods protect us. I can take care of that, Elder. You just have some faith. All right, we got a lot to do then. Okay, let's head back to base instead. Let's not forget our archer this time, but time to do a little bit of construction. Let's take everybody back. Build a temple. All right, so under special, we have a temple. We'll need 100 wood and 100 reed. Okay, let's get everybody assigned to jobs such as logging. Our brother was wounded by a foe. Uh oh. Oh, boys. Oh, wait. We should get what's up in the box. Right over here. You'd like to send people out individually or in small groups, but there's just far too many enemies for just like two or three people to go. It just seems much better to bring an entire group. It looks like we can heal out in the field too, so long as everything's maintained. Lots of fire out here too. Okay. I don't see anything else. Let's head back to base. We'll be uh, heading further away from where we just were in just a moment. Looks like we're already doing our login suite. Nicely done. Okay, yeah, faith is rather low now. That's the next thing we're going to be working on is the temple, which might generate faith too, but it's more is for this uh, incantation. We have both utility, support, and offensive spells. Entangle, infest, rejuvenate, haste. Control and sight. Here come our people. Oh, look at how great the ground looks. Who are you? Wandering what now? Oh, wandering trader. Oh. Learning new skills. Teaching cost. Didn't see you there, youngling. You also feel the urge to explore and study everything around you. We do, but we'll need 100 gold for that. Probably have to find that somewhere out in the field. All right, so we'll come back to that guy for we some need knowledge. More gold if we want to keep our military units. Yeah, we sure do. All right, well, we don't want a military at the moment. Let's get back to foraging and gathering reed. probably have to build a gold mine at some point and then we'll go out and uh, get that guy's assistance and there might be a little chest of gold out there somewhere by the grace of the gods a child is born oh wow you can actually name the uh, child when they're born it's a boy cool Whenever somebody's born in the camp, it's an event, you can name them. And then they probably have to stay a child for a while before they grow up and can become a unit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. Kids just hanging out, doing whatever. Can't take any jobs. Can't climb the tower and tell us if anybody's around. Oh, but they can assist adults. Oh, they can become like a small apprentice. So if somebody's working in a job, they can assist. Not military, but... That's cool. They can supervise. He's learning. 
cool. Now I wonder if that'll make them when they grow up specialize in that skill because as we saw from some of the other survivors, you know, they're better at scouting or better at farming or whatnot. Uh, but so if they follow somebody around before they become of age, they might be able to uh, gain some skills in that profession right from the start. Kind of neat that way. Okay, we need more reed. A lot more reed. Let's get another person in weed. Reed gathering. Chrome to the weeds. There we go. And let's get the uh, kid to supervise in that now. Take your kid to gourd day. Alright, so the temple will cost us 100 reed. Looks like the wolf carvings and spider carvings will assist our sanity. Everyone's pretty sane so far, though. There's our temple. Alright, let's build that uh, somewhere towards the back, maybe. There we go. And now let's go into some construction. You can actually see a little bar filling up for the kid there. It looks like. Damn. Alright, kids are actually useful in this game. So many games where either you don't see the children or, of course, they just kind of do what kids do and, you know, play around and maybe go to school or whatnot. And uh, you can see them, but, you know, they go from basically like a nine-year-old to a fully grown adult with nothing in between. But here at least they showcase that kids certainly can be helpful and learn. Wow. Kids at a heavy construction site. The gourd is flourishing, sire. Sire, I'm glad that we found time to praise the true gods, but we need to proceed with our plan. The emissary is getting very anxious about it. For sure. All right, reach the river crossing. Okay, we'll generate some faith for a little while. We do need gold, though, to pay for our military. The river crossing is not much further than where we were. The fishing shack. Uh oh. Ah. Through the trees, we can actually spot some enemies. Did you see that? Yep. The trees are giving away some red silhouettes that we otherwise couldn't see. Over here, too, maybe. Oh, that's some mushrooms. Maybe it's a false alarm, but we certainly know there's trouble out there. We're going to need to generate gold. So how would we do that? Hunter's Den. We can build all these buildings, but we don't necessarily need them at the moment. Good. Some of our spells will come in handy here. Well, we might not be able to send out military units this time, but we can send out our regular villagers to do the work. Let's go for a scout tower this to wait. We already built that. Wait. Oh. It's like a different shape and design than this one. Oh, huh. all right. Oh, even the kids learning in the background. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. Okay, let's go get some scouts ready. And we'll try to send everyone out as a basic attack.
All right, let's keep the child safe inside. Lock the door, kid. Begging me, you can drop the log, bro. <laughs> it's fine. Was that a kitty? Oh, it's a kitty. There's a kitty in the game. Can you pet the kitty? Nope, I'm playable. Oh, now now it's a now it's just a stray cr uh, crossover. There's a kitty and gourd. Oh, kitty. All right, if you watch this far into the video, all caps kitty down below in the comment section. Let's get it going. It looks like there's some cages there. That might actually be useful to stop there. There's some enemies, but I think we can fight them. Our sister is in danger. That's taking a little too much damage here. Pull back. Good job. Oh, we rescued another survivor. An axeman named Bud. And the only way, way I was able to spot that was by looking at the uh, silhouettes through the trees. Oh, some graves. Wonderful. Oh, we can grave rob. Great. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to interact with. Mm -hmm. Let's look around a little bit. Oh, is that a bear? <laughs> Our sister needs help. Just a boy. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, yeah. We got 56 gold so far. Together, people. Nice work. Right, well, with that 100 gold, we should be able to pay for actual military units or the training. Oh, can't go inside the tower. Was that a pile of gold? A big old pile of gold. Fantastic. Maybe we can get the kid to ask that guy for training now. Is he still out there? Well, he moved on. Must be on a little bit of a timer, but... Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. Fighting experience two. Let's go. Oh, wait, that's just for the kid. Oh. I see. <laughs> so we could bring everyone back, and we could uh, build the archery range and get everyone as an axeman again, but I think we're doing okay for now. Everyone healed up rather quickly, too. Number one. But let's keep exploring. <laughs> Our brother has been injured. <laughs> Additionally, our people are just gaining combat experience even though they're unassigned to military, so doing real well. Man, it is raining like crazy out here. Hmm. Interesting, we lost some gold. Must be for our scout, maybe? Mm -hmm. More wood for us, and a big old source of light. 
I'm probably going to miss some stuff, actually. It, it, it looks a little easy to miss stuff on the ground, so I've, I've probably missed some items by now. I'm looking for what they actually look like. Spooters! Our sister is being attacked! We got it. Nice. That may have been a debuff of some sort. The gods have blessed us with a child. Oh, a girl. Well, yeah, there's certainly a lot to explore around here. It actually kind of is hard to tell where you can go. But the minimap does a good job of showcasing how big the map actually is. And where we might find more goodies. Mm, looks like there's no easy way to the corner of the map. Try to scout around as much as we can. Yeah, there's a lot of nooks and crannies, and there could be stuff in every nook and cranny. Fighting experience gain again. All right. Starving. Yeah, I think we're going to RTB here. Oh. Oh, he grew up. Wow, that was fast. All right. I thought that was going to take much longer. Oh, I guess we're paying for the one Axeman that was in our group that we found. So once we find a fighter, we have to start paying for them too. All right, everybody, we're going to go home and get our base in order. Now, I already know what's going to happen at the end of this mission, and uh, typically it would require a, just a small little child sacrifice, but in this case, we're going to go ahead and do things uh, a little differently than we normally would. Get uh, a couple of people on food gathering. Archery is taken care of. All right, let's get to work, people. Okay, we got three people foraging. Actually, I don't think we need uh, logs much anymore. Build a hunter's tent, too. Maybe that'll give us some new resources besides food, but it doesn't look like it. Alright, gonna grab some food. And then we're gonna start preparing to get everybody uh, leveled up here for the final battle. Now, if our newborn uh, child grows up, we can put them straight in the military, young lady. You're going straight to the military. All right, so they're building... Oh, that is great. The hunter's tent there. Food's coming in. Great. All good. Now, what we really want to monitor is just make sure everybody's got their, um, 
health ready to go, and then we want to uh, make sure we've got a lot of uh, points here. Up to 5,000 we can have. Uh, strength and speed of your subject's attacks. That's going to be fantastic. Focus is... Oh, allows people to focus on the fruits of their work. Oh, wow. All right, so it's not just a military thing, but also we can use it to build and or gather faster, too. So support could be used to um, strengthen our people at home or in battle. Offensive probably just does straight-up damage to the enemy, and um, utility is kind of a thing for re revealing the map. Or hides our people from enemies. Neat. Okay, so if we're going to go into this battle, we do need to make sure we've got a lot of food stored up. We can leave the camp. We want everyone leaving. So we're going to get some people on hunting. I feel like it's a much wiser idea to leave, at the moment, the, the gourd as a group, because uh, we're going to need large numbers. Oh boy. For things just like this, yep. So if we sent out one Axeman... We don't have any way to get gold in the moment. job. Alright. Return to what you were doing. Yeah, now we gotta rebuild that health again. So random attacks will come in. When we're ready, there's probably a lot of crates and other things out there, but uh, I think we'll need to swing around up this way and go up there. in the hunting. More wandering wolves. Maybe they smell the deer. Our sister's hands are idle. Hmm. Let's unassign our axemen for now. The military is expensive. Fishing shack now. Did that bird have an e wow, I, I think that bird has an eel in its talons. Or a snake. This game's so detailed it shows birds capturing uh, snakes and eels and things. Crazy. That's impressive. Now let's build that building. We gotta get these food numbers up. And we can go away from home for a little while. Oh, this person was assigned to hunting, but wasn't doing anything. All 
All right. Gonna be a way to get more gold later in the missions. I always feel like in these Our games, the food has been depleted. In these games, it's always uh, pretty tough to get uh, everything done at the beginning because they're trying to teach you so many mechanics. Oh, look at that! Big old deer coming in. That's cool. Oh, that's gonna be worth a lot of food. Outstanding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our source of food has been depleted. Our source of food has been depleted. I wonder what that means exactly. Is that just a deer was killed? Now people are going fishing. Hmm. Well, I think we're almost ready with food. An enemy has attacked our sister. Man, what are you doing up there? Get back to base. you on logging maybe where it's safe hmm. well we can get another forger's hut going how many mushrooms are around Well, seems like a few, but that'll run out soon. Well, I think they're trying to tell us that there's no other deer to hunt. Alright, I think we're good on the food. Alright, mm -hmm. let's gather everyone around. Little lady, you can uh, park over there. Mm -hmm. There's another kid. Oh, another kid's born. Really? A new life has been brought into the world. Another one to feed. Alright, kids, you can hang out over there. All right, everybody, gather around. Drop what you're doing. We're going for a fight. All right, the military campaign begins. burn through whoo all right let's try this again so uh, that was our first experience with that I'm gonna go ahead and try to uh, tell all of our people to attack first then see if I can cast haze He's rather weak. Mm. 
That person's gonna need a revive quickly. Again, conceal. And with the revive. Our sister has been knocked out. Another death again. Right, let's try going with all axe men this time. All right, now this is cool. We spent so long trying to prepare for like a final attack that this is now uh, winter. It's now December, uh, and everybody's pretty much grown up. So this this is a good situation though. We've got uh, our sanity up quite high, and wow, almost maxed out at like five thousand. Our sister's hands are idle. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to assign everybody as a. Uh, an axeman right now and then see if we can get uh, ourselves uh, going up to the fun time zone you know what I mean well let's go ahead and get everybody assigned there mm -hmm. and try to assign everybody as archer or rather axeman rather than archers no scouts either we're just going straight in with See if we can get uh, high DPS on the melee attacks. Oh, that's just a kid there. All right, let's get everybody up to our friend. This will be interesting. ran out of gold we cannot afford to maintain our military that's all right it'll just take a hit to sanity but that's okay we were already insane to begin with correct close to the fight.
Hi, sir. All right, let's save and start the fight. All right, round three. He stunlocked us all through the haze attack. We need more gold if we want to keep our military hands. damn close wow all right let's go again it's going to come down to that haste and whatnot i also want to attack from from over here spread out a little bit but we'll see what happens BS, he called out reinforcements? Okay. Alright, here we go again. Man, sacrificing a child. Seems a little easier now. Our brother has been injured. Now. He shouldn't be able to do this uh, weird, like, cockroach attack or something like that. This completely locks us out of an attack. We're stun locked. It does damage, and it wastes the hate. Uh, the uh, haze. We want to keep our military. been knocked out. <laughs> Our sister has passed out. Yeah, to hell with it. We're sending him a kid. Screw it. <laughs> it's way harder than I thought. All right, I really wanted to fight him. Uh, I'm thinking this might come down to finding one or two more people out in the bog and then, like, just doing something about uh, getting everybody's fight speed up. But I'm not exactly sure how. Oh, I guess we're going to have to... Oh, wow. I sent this person here. <laughs> the run was so long. They were I think they were a kid when they left. Uh, so alternatives to doing this might be... Finding more people in the bog or just waiting longer in the gourd to grow your population over time because, of course, there's been babies born each year or every couple of months and then 
uh, eventually they become adults themselves. So I guess just having everybody, I don't know, it seems like sitting around, you know. Uh, once you've explored the bog, the only thing to do would just be monitor the food, make sure everybody can eat, and then, uh, you know, just defend yourself and make sure everybody's all right. We went out and gathered pretty much everything we could from all these bodies. Obviously, there's more things around. Like whatever this may be. But hey, we get to save Dragomir. He gets to live. Our brother was wounded by a foe. And Geraldine gets a uh, meeting with HR. She will truly become a human resource. Hi, sweetie. Welcome to HR. Good luck. We're downsizing. Gods. Who could have done this? Uh, so many lives lost. What is that? I don't understand it either, but we should leave immediately. He may return at any time. I agree with the witch, sire. Let's hide in the woods and plan our next move carefully. Yeah. Uh, I want to do that one and actually fight him sometime, so we'll certainly come back. There's going to be way more nightmares, so there's got to be more to fight, more ways to learn how to maximize our people. Success! The route to the goal we had to face, not one but two horrors. We found a magic wielder to help us face these monstrosities, but better that we secure our position before venturing onwards. Do you want to continue playing the campaign? Hell yeah, we are in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all next time for more Gord.